Hi everyone, in this video I'll be reviewing a number of the new features and updates that have been made to the unified interface for D365. So the first update I want to talk to you about is actually the sitemap. So you can see that it's now been moved to the left hand side of the screen, which gives us the massive advantages. We can now navigate around our application while we work with the data in the central panel. You may also notice that we can still move around the areas as we could in the classic web interface, but we've now actually got our recent items and our pinned items functions located on the timeline itself. Uh, the next feature I want to talk to you about is the quick create function. So if I navigate to an account record and go to create a contact using quick create, you may notice that the quick create form actually loads on the right hand side of the screen rather than loading from the, the top of the screen. Now the advantage of this is that we can actually create our record and still with, work with the information available on our previous record. So I just want to talk about some of the form updates in the unified interface. So you may notice that the tabs are now arranged in a horizontal format. Now in the web interface, the tabs used to be arranged in a vertical format. The advantage of having them in a horizontal format is that we can actually quickly navigate to the information we need rather than scrolling down the full page to get to where we want. So if I just go into the details tab, we can see that I can quickly view any of the information relating to the company profile, any marketing information or our accounts contact references quickly without having to scroll down to those. Now, if I just jump back to the summary tab, I just want to talk about the timeline feature for a moment. So in the classic web interface, um, you'll notice that there was tabs for each different type of record that could be associated to the timeline. So a tab for notes, a tab for posts, and a tab for activities. Whereas in the new interface, this is located in a single pane. So this means we can view all the records relating to this account record in a vertical um, chronological order. Now, if we want to, we've got filter functions on the timeline, meaning that we can just sort to view only posts or only activities if we need to. The final thing I want to talk to you about in this video is the organization chart. So if I go to open org chart at the top of the account screen, what you'll see is I actually get an organization chart which opens showing my account structure and the contacts belong to the, that belong to the account. Now, using the drag and drop interface, I can actually rearrange this account structure if required. And this will basically help us form a visual representation of the management structure at our account. So there's a lot more features available in the unified interface all of which you can explore in due to course. So I hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time.